Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. And I'm tempted to say praise the Lord, church, but we are still in church also as well. Uh, I'm privileged to be in the presence of God people at this hour. But before I go ahead, there is something I want us to do. Just like our daddy has pronounced, just as uh, the camp team have spoken, I want us to open our Bible to the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 45 at this hour. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. And it says, And blessed, and blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told of her from the Lord. The Bible is encouraging us at this hour, there shall be performance of those things that we have heard. Just like we are celebrating God for what? You know, he has done in our midst from the last time we came here. All those words has come into manifestation and they are still spoken. And because of this, I want us to be on our feet to celebrate God with our dance, with our mouth, with everything that God has given unto us as we sing this song. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha and Omega. Alpha. Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha and Omega. Alpha. Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have come to return all the glory unto you because you are worthy of our praises, Lord, for bringing us back to your presence once again for this year 2019 camp, Upper Room Experience. We say be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. And for all that you have done in the last camping experience that is still speaking up to this present moment, we say, I love thy name in the name of Jesus. And for what you are set to do in our midst in this year camping experience also, we say, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit this service, this message unto your hands once again. Minister through me, use me as an oracle. As I decrease, increase in me in the name of Jesus. And let everyone that will listen or that will listen later be blessed in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Glory. Please, let's have a seat. As I welcome us once again to Upper Room Experience 2019. Glory be to Almighty God for this great honor and the privilege. And also to our parents in the Lord who are not relenting in their effort to make sure that they push us to this place just to have an encounter with God that can do all things. You no, know, I used to say this with our parents in the Lord, there's nothing impossible for God to do in our life. They believe this and they work with it. And so also I want to encourage us at this hour. Let's have that same confidence and that same belief, just like we have read in that Luke chapter 1, verse 45. Let's have that confidence that there shall be performance of everything that has been said, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. At this moment, I'll be talking on a topic that says, the power in the name of Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus. I will be reading from the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 16. The miracle at the beautiful gate. Don't let us forget that this same Apostle Peter was the one that denied Jesus after Christ was arrested to be put to death. But when his orientation changed and he understood what is the power, I mean the power in the name of Jesus, he was able to apply it and this worked for him 
in this place we are about to read. Acts chapter 3 verse 16. It says, And his name, through faith, in his name, had made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him that has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And what is this name? The name of Jesus. Brethren, the man was looking at them for something special, something he needed for that moment. But the apostles made him to understand. We don't have that with us. But there is something that can guarantee your freedom forever. And they said, at the name of Jesus. That is, they recognize the power in the name of Jesus. And you know, this is the problem that many people are facing today. Failure to recognize the power in the name of Jesus. It worked for them. And it's still working. And it will work for you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I would like to give us some few points at this, I mean, within the few period that I have for us to take home and work with it in our life. Because the name of Jesus is so powerful that ignorance of faith is robbing many of God's blessing and fulfillment in life. The ignorance of faith, or let me say the over-familiarity with the name, is robbing so many people of their blessings in life and fulfillment. The enemy will do anything. Let me repeat it again. The enemy will do anything just to keep man in the dark so that he cannot, he will continue to oppress him. That's why the devil comes with so many hardship. He comes with so many challenges. And because of this, you know, the faith of many are waxing cold. The love of many for God are working cold in this our time. Why? Because of the economic situation of the nation. Forgetting that we are not of this world. We are not of this world. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world not just to establish religion, but he came to establish a kingdom. A kingdom where we put our faith in God for the supply of our need. No wonder he said, I will supply all your needs according to the riches, not just to, according to the wealth of the nation, but the riches in Christ Jesus. It is in Christ Jesus. This name is so powerful that the devil himself, when he hears this name, he trembles. Do you have a witness in the house? The devil trembles at the mention of this name. The book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 Acts chapter 4 verse 12 make us to believe that neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There is no other name that we can be saved except through the name of Jesus. Brethren, when we talk about salvation, salvation means deliverance from sin and its consequences. No wonder the Bible talks about the wages of sin. Meaning that there are consequences to sin. And sin has been in existence before we came to this world. The psalmist says, In sin did my mother conceive me. That means as a man that is born of flesh and blood, we are born into sin. And when salvation comes, through that name, through faith in that name, we are delivered from sin and its consequences. Salvation also means deliverance from harm. Now, when we now combine these two together with the name of Jesus, we have, we have deliverance from sin and from every harm that enemy has done against us. Combining the two meaning together means that there is, no, there is no deliverance from sin and its consequences without the name of Jesus. For us to enjoy the benefit of God, I want us to pay attention to these following things. Number one, the name of Jesus gives us identity. The name of Jesus gives us identity. Acts chapter 11 verse 26 says, And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. The name of Jesus is a brand. 
And when you are known by this, respect comes to you. Not just knowing the name, but being identified with the name. As a Christian, you are identified with God because you believe in the name of Jesus and we are expected to live like him. No wonder the people of the other world, they still struggle today to have a bearing. Why? Because it is only through the name of Jesus that we have what? Salvation. And nobody can accept the Father except through this name. Another thing I have here, only through the name of Jesus that we can get anything from God. And this is found in the book of John chapter 16 verse 23 to 24. It is only through the name that we can get anything from God. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 make us to believe that Jesus' name is above every other name. Is above every other power. Is above every other name and every other power. God has designed this name after the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ that no man can relate with him from, for any other reason whatsoever except through the name of Jesus. And that is giving everything Jesus is and carries is in his name. Everything you can ever think of that Jesus is or that he carries are in his name. Mark chapter 16 verse 17 to 18 gave us reason to say this. It says, And this sign shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devil, they shall speak with new tongue, they shall take up serpent, and if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They sh shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. To round up my message, I would like to encourage us with this. We are only qualified to use this name if we are born again. In accordance to Acts chapter 19, from verse 13 to 17, made us to understand what happened to those brethren that wanted to use the name of Jesus. But the devil spoke to somebody and said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Then who are you? That's my question to us at this moment. Who are you? So you need to be identified with this name. And to be qualified for this name, you must be born again. In conclusion, in this name, there is deliverance. There is holiness. There is anything you can ever think for. The Bible says, at the mention of the name, every knee shall what? Shall bow. So, as we go into this camping experience once again, please, brethren, let's believe in this name. Let's anchor our faith and our need on this name. And it will answer us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus. You can do better. Put those hands together for Jesus. Put those hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Haitian of days, the I am that I am. The one that has given us a name that is above every other name. And it says at the mention of the name of his son Jesus, he says every knee got to bow. Put those hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Now we are going to be asking the heaven to remember us. Now we are here in the camping in the upper room experience of the 2019 edition. And we are not going to be leaving until there's a remembrance on our part. The team here says, remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. We are going to be praying and we are going to be listening to some things. But before we do that, please let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. We are going to clap our hands together. Let's be on our feet. Say, remember me, remember me. Remember me, O oh Lord. By your power, by your... Remember, you're not clapping. Remember me, remember me, remember me, O oh Lord, by your power, by your mercy. Remember me, O oh Lord, 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 remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, oh Lord. 
Oh Lord, my Father, in this upper room experience, please, Lord, remember me. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Begin to pray for the remembrance of the heaven. He says, I will do a marvelous work among those people. Amongst those that you will show yourself, Lord, count me worthy to be among them. Do a marvelous thing in my life, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I must not go the way I have come. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, do a marvelous thing in my life, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, do a marvelous thing in my life, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And the 17 of you say, is it not a yet very little while? And Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. And the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. You are going to tell God, Father, in this experience, O Lord, turn my Lebanon to a fruitful field. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Cause me to break forth on every side. I have been waiting, I have been waiting, Lord. Father, remember me for your break forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause me to break forth on every side. In the name of Jesus, Father, turn my Lebanon to a fruitful field, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, turn my fruitful field, O oh Lord, to an esteemed forest. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, Father, turn my Lebanon to a fruitful field, O oh Lord. I must not go the same way I have come. I have come to seek you. Father, let me find you. In the mighty name of Jesus, even the Gentiles shall be at the place of my rising as a result of the encounter of this campaign. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, help my life, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, repair my life, O Lord. Repair my destiny, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. He says, comfort ye, comfort ye my people, say it to your God. Isaiah 41 and 2. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that our warfare is accomplished and an iniquity is pardoned. For she had received of the Lord's end double for her sin. You're going to open your mouth and say, Lord, in this year's camping, O oh Lord, speak a word to my life. Drop a word to my life. There's a song that says, Wanu Miko Wabami Sorrow. He spoke to Elijah and he was able to do wonders for Christ. He spoke into the life of Moses and Moses parted the Red Sea. There are some seed that is blocking your manifestation that the power of the heaven need to part. Say, Father, by the reason of this year's experience, O oh Lord, release your word into my life in the name of Jesus. He even released unto Sarah. He released unto Hannah. Say, Father, release your word into my life. Speak a word into my life. A word that will make me. A word that will make me a city not forsaken. A word that will make me sorted out. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, drop your word in my life, O oh Lord. That word that will make me, that word that will, that will help me, that word that will sustain me. Father, drop your word into my life, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and begin to ask uh, that God should drop a word into your life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, the remembrance of the heaven should locate you. In the name of Jesus, let the remembrance of the heaven locate me. Let the remembrance of the heaven fall upon me. Oh Lord, remember me. Oh Lord, remember me. I know by strength I cannot prevail. Father, remember me, oh Lord. Father, remember me, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Isaiah 44 verse 3. I was meditating and the Spirit of God dropped this. He said, God is saying I should tell you. He says what? Isaiah chapter 44 
verse 3. He says, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. We are here because we are thirsty. And flood upon the dry ground. That every dryness in your life, the flood of the heaven will sweep it away in the name of Jesus. He says, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, O Lord, and my blessing upon thy offspring. Open your mouth, begin to say, Lord, visit me by your mercy. Visit me in your power and in your might, O Lord. I must not go the way I have come. He won him a one back by the Lord. Oh, no, I'm a very old for walk on me. Drop a word in my life, oh Lord. Visit me, visit me, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, visit me, visit me. There has been dryness. People have been asking you, where is your God? But there must be a difference. Uh -huh. Because you have not trusted upon the horses and the chariot. We trust in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. There must be a difference. My pastor came and he talked of the power in the name of Jesus. Say, let that power save me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cause your power to save me, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take away dryness in my life. Take away dryness in my life. Take away struggle from me, oh Lord. Take away struggle from me, oh Lord. Only I want to do what your Lord on your your to God I want say. Father, renew my strength, oh Lord. Renew my strength, oh Lord. Make haste to save me. Make haste to save me in the mighty name of Jesus. Make haste to save me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. For Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord, he says, I will renew their strength. <laughs> Say, Father, renew my strength, O Lord. In you I trust and I believe. Father, renew my strength, O Lord. I have tried on my own. I have tried humanly possible. But there has not been any different. Father, renew my strength, oh Lord. <laughs> Help me, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remember me. You have to be hungry at this point. Cry to the heaven for remembrance. <laughs> Cry to the heaven for remembrance. As a worker in the vineyard, your life must show forth the glory. Say, Father, remember me. Father, remember me. Oluwa Ramilawa. Oluwa Rotimio. He says, I will renew your strength. Say, Father, renew my strength. On my own, I cannot do it. On my own, I cannot make it. Father, renew my strength. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm looking for the scripture. In the book of Isaiah. I came across it. And the spirit of God says. The God says I have formed you. For me to have formed you. I can bear you. You are going to open your mouth. And say father. I have come with burdens. You have gone last year. So many rubbish has entered you. So many worries. So many questions in your heart. Say father accept me the way I have come. Oh Lord. Lift off my burden. Oh Lord. Give me your yoke that is easy. Your burden that is light. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, take away this burden from my life, O oh Lord. Take away this yoke from my life, O oh Lord. Say, Father, give me your yoke, O oh Lord. I drop my burden on the feet of the altar. Say, Father, give me your yoke, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me your yoke, O oh Lord. I exchange my burden with your burden, O oh Lord. I take up your body, which is the strength of the heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, please pray for yourself. You must not go the way you have come. There must be a difference. The Gentiles must see the light of God shining over you. The glory must manifest. Say, Father, Lord, I have come to make an exchange. <laughs> For that yoke which is so heavy, and for the burden that is heavy, say, Father, Lord, I extend, O Lord, 
Give me your yours. Give me your burden. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, remember me. 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 By mercy, oh Lord. Remember me. Remember me, oh. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Oh Lord. Remember me. Oh Lord. Remember me. Oh Lord. Remember me. In the name of Jesus. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When we were leaving the streets of the church, so many people were wondering. And they will be asking, they are going again. We are going to open our mouth and pray for the cross Christian center that lets the remembrance of the heaven locate the church, locate our parents in the Lord. They have been carrying us to Shiloh, but there must be a different.